Thank you very much for being with us today and welcome to our discussion from supply to distribution and beyond. How the consumer goods industry's production benefits from holistic automation. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, what are the current needs of the consumer goods industry when it comes to automation? Which future trends must industry players be prepared for? And why is KUKA the smart choice of automation for the consumer goods industry? These are some questions that we will be discussing today. And of course, I won't be discussing them alone, but with three great experts as my guests today. My first guest is Vice President of the Global Industry Team for General Industries at KUKA. She says, in the future, holistic automation approaches will become increasingly important for customers in the consumer goods industry. KUKA can already offer this holistic automation approach today. I would like to welcome most cordially Sevil Davarci. Thank you, Sebastian. It's my pleasure to be here. Yeah, he is the KUKA expert for the food and beverage sector. He knows customers from that industry like the back of his hand. And he says, the consumer goods industry is an industry that is constantly innovating, especially in the area of automation. Today, he's going to share with us what exactly that means. Joining us remotely from France, Tanguy Levinec. Bonjour Tanguy, bienvenue. Bonjour Sebastian, thank you very much and really happy to be with you today. And last but not least, he is Chief Sales Officer of the system partner Vice Group. He has a long history in the consumer goods industry and today he will provide us with a quick market overview, especially regarding the automation potential in the consumer goods industry. Joining us remotely from his vacation on the German's favorite island, Mallorca, is Michael Frede. Hi, Michael. Great to have you with us. Hello, Sebastian. My pleasure to be with you today. Thank you very much. Michael, my first question goes directly to you. What does the consumer goods industry have to deal with now and in the future? Yeah, this is the right question, Sebastian. Um, for that answer, we have to look a little bit at the mega trends. Right now, we are about 7.4 billion people on Earth. So those people certainly have a certain behavior managing their daily lives and consuming products, which means buying things that they use for their daily lives. And this is going into the mega trends, um, how we buy certain things, what we buy and how we use it and what do we expect. And um, this goes to the global trend that uh, we go from a push to pull. In the past, some companies, uh, the, the big ones in consumer goods, like, yeah, you name it, Nestle, Adidas, Procter Gamble, Henkel, Unilever, there are so many big companies. They designed certain products and provided them through the retail to customers customers and consumers. So they don't go in a shop and select something and go with that home. But this has changed. Now the customers select and buy from home and they want a close loop together with the producers. So, and this is a, a massive trend we can see that has a big impact on our uh, automation landscape uh, with those big companies because they have to adapt with that. Now, given the recent uh, pandemic crisis, we see a lot of trends going into the nearshoring, producing close to the customers because now they know better what the customers want because there is no filter from retail uh, with a time lag in between anymore. So there's a direct communication and this can shorten the supply chains and optimize the volume being produced and not just on stock, but directly to the customers on the needs. This is a big, big trend we can see in consumer goods at the time being. You've mentioned several trends now. What about automation? Where do you see the greatest potential for that? In the consumer goods, uh, which is a lot like um, food, beverage, personal care, 
air textile, apparels, shoes, life sciences, medical products, con uh, cosmetics. All that is what we call the consumer goods. 69% of these large consumer good producers have in mind to go very, very deep into automation in future. And all these uh, jobs, we call it the 3D, so the dump, dirty, dangerous, will be given to machines because they can do it now better than people. And people, persons should do better what they can do better than machines. And this will be the next uh, big push into the uh, consumer goods automation for the next years. And it will be a very attractive for both, for the consumers and for the producers, by both ways. You've mentioned the three Ds. Maybe we should add a fourth D, digitization. What role does digitization play? Absolutely, you're absolutely right. So we are in the year number 10 now, since Industry 4.0, the cyber physical world has been introduced. And especially the consumer goods industry coming from the individual to supply from producer through uh, the warehouses to the consumers has brought a big impact of digitalization already into the supply chain. So we can see very big uh, trends here that make new models attractive, like paper use on robots, robots as a service, mobile robot platforms, self-learning robots with uh, smart sensors, 3D camera perception, yeah, um, a human robot collaboration, individual individualization of product needs, um, like you customize your shoes or your shirt and you get it delivered uh, within uh, three days directly. All these trends are given to the industry 4.0 and the digitalization trend. And this will be very uh, cost effective and uh, attractive business models that we can see in the next years to come in the consumer goods industries. In the next years to come, that really sounds like a promising future for automation in that industry. But we don't only have to look into the future when we talk about automation in consumer goods. Consumer goods is an industry where automation is already well established today. Tongi, what are the current needs of customers from that industry and how can KUKA satisfy those needs? For sure, we are working today on a daily basis with this customer, especially with food and beverage, ph pharmaceutical, biotech and personal care industries. And we have to say, and to repeat it, all these industries are industry who are constantly innovating. And especially with us, KUKA, in the area of automation. In KUKA, we are seeing increasing demands for robotics all along the production line, uh, all along the production chain. In the last 10 to 15 years, we have seen a lot of robots installed, especially in palletizing and end of line. You know, in KUKA, we call that the big place palletize. But now we have a lot of projects, we have a lot of applications and a huge variety of applications in all the production, from the supply until the production, the processing, end of line and distribution until e-commerce. From supply to distribu distribution, that's what you've mentioned. So what exactly does KUKA offer for customers? Which products and which solutions? So first, we have to see the big picture from the supply to the distribution uh, and in supply, we, we are lucky, we are working with our sister company, who is Swisslog. And with Swisslog, we are able to offer turnkey solution in intra-logistic automation. In that, our robots and mobile platform are key elements for Swisslog solution in order to reach a high flexibility expected by our customers. Well, this is obviously the supply part, as far as I understand. But uh, how about the processing and packaging part? You're fully right. And let me take an example of food industry. Today, we know that we have a huge demand for robotics in this area, but we need to supply uh, to our customer a really specific robots who are matching with strong hygienic specification. Therefore, we are offering a full range of robots, what we call the hygienic machine, who are approved to food contact and who, who can be clean with the cleaning products used by the industry. We will be able to find this product, you know, in all application, handling, cutting, uh, for example, in dairy, uh, in chocolate, in pizza making. On the top of that, we see 
really high and strong expectation in the field of mobility. And today we know that mobility will be a key element for the future, but it's already a key element for our customers. So we are offering mobile tools, meaning mobile platform, in order to handle product from point A to point B, but also mobile robots who will be able to work uh, in different tasks, in different production lines to be mobile and safe. And for example, we can uh, we, we have some application with these one mobile robots are uh, loading packaging machine from lane, line one, one to line four uh, with raw materials handled by mobile platform. And we will see all the packaging operation. And all these operations are particularly suited for robotics. When we are working in the pharmaceutical sector, for example, we have to handle some uh, fragile and small glass bottle. And we are working with uh, small robots who are uh, particularly uh, well designed in order to be accurate and to do not destroy the products they will handle, meaning these small glass bottles. Beyond the fact uh, of flexibility with robots, for sure, we have a big challenge today. This is the footprint and the layout. So we are working a lot with our system partners and integrators in order to find smart solution in order to reduce this footprint and to offer to the end customer a small footprint cell for end of line. Uh, and in this way, we have a lot of things to offer to our customers. So Tongi, you've been talking about dairy, you've been talking about laboratories, you've also been talking about mobility and a lot of more things, but our main activity is still palletizing, isn't it? Exactly, Sebastian. And for sure, until the last 10 years, but still today, palletizing is really uh, the big activities in uh, fast-moving consumer goods, in food industry, in pharmaceutical industry, in personal care industry, where KUKA is working with our end customer and integrators. For, and we are working from the big system, you know, the big cell for palletizing different references, different pallets, until the small, uh, flexible and safe palletization uh, solution. And for that, the range of robots of KUKA is really good because we are going from small palletizing robots until really huge payload palletizing robots. On the top of that, in some cases, we can add a layer of uh, artificial intelligence with our customer in order to match with specific needs. I have in mind some example, you know, when we are loading uh, and palletizing in a specific order as a pallet in order to load trucks and to work on a smart way for the last mile deliveries in order to be really flexible and really accurate with the end customer expectation. And for that, we have to work on the optimization of the, of the intra-logistic. Again, we can, uh, we can uh, count on the support of SwissLog for sure. And with our tool, meaning the robots, the mobile platform, we are able to work and to provide such solution like a rainbow pallet solution, really flexible, or a mixed case palletizing, so fully automated mixed case palletizing for distribution center. And we know that uh, for sure software uh, is uh, really important, but we need to have well-designed uh, tool and especially robotics tool to reach the target of our customers. Thank you very much, Tongi. Last question to you. Please give us a quick conclusion to all of this. Yes, for sure. Let's try to, to, to keep it short. Uh, for all this technology, we are working today with our customer. So when we say in customer, we are working with our end customers, the final user, but also with the integrators and system partners. The KUKA approach today is to support uh, the end customers and the partners as uh, integrators and machine builders on all this kind of application dedicated to this specific market and to provide uh, the best added value they can find with the robotics tool and the automation. Well, thank you so much, Tongi, for your input. Sebe, we've heard a lot now about the market, about current trends, about future needs. How does this all fit together from your point of view? Yes, uh, the market will be further growing and none of us having doubt on this. Michael explained the mega trends. The mega trends, digitalization and automation, and especially here in the automation, simple automation, are shaping our present and future and challenge companies and the way business is done today. There are customers which having the need of easy of use robots without having people in the production with robot programming knowledge. 
They simply want easy to use robots directly in their production, get them out of the box and put the robot of their individual need in the flexible production and increase in the productivity. And this is our main focus in our new operating system, iCooka OS. Another advantage which Kuka offers is the digitalization services. Looking for, for COVID-19, which has been accelerated as well, the focus of remote monitoring, virtual engineering, virtual services, customers to help in predictive maintenance, and even more useful in production to get the robot started virtually. Well, Seville, I've mentioned it before, and now I would like to ask you, why is KUKA the smart choice for automation for customers from the consumer goods industry? KUKA is your smart choice of automation because we are having the added value from product to market specific offerings. In KUKA, uh, we are very successful in the auto industry. This is well established over the past 25 years and we are very successful. And from the industry management, general industry, we are benefiting out of this experience. General industry is in the core KUKA strategy, as I mentioned before, and having a global organization with all disciplines, from business development, sales, till to the operation and service organization, all over the world, wherever the customer needs, we are there. KUKA is in a global company with a global footprint. Along customer's value chain, we are providing a customer value proposition from raw material handling until to the processing into the internal logistic process, according to the references from Tangi. And we are supporting them with the holistic approach through all steps of supply chain process. General industry has been a stronghold for KUKA over the years and within a significant share of the robots in many countries. As Tangi demonstrated before in the references as well, other applications which are very relevant for food processing will be in the future as well our focus too. And therefore we are extending our portfolio, robot portfolio, not only in hardware, even on the software side. For example, the Delta robots, which are uh, usually used in, in primary sector, in food contact and processing. We're having as well the SCARA robots, which we are coming very soon with the hygienic oil variants and even hygienic machines variants. We are creating, as you see here, very strong industry relevant portfolio. This is one side on, on the food and beverage side, but even we are concentrating on the pharma uh, portfolio as well. In summary, you will see new product releases for consumer goods. And you will see even stronger focus by KUKA, by the industry management from now on and in the future. Well, this sounds like a future that we can all look forward to, Sabiel. Thank you very much for being my guest today and for discussing with us. Thank you so much, Sebastian, as well to you. It was my pleasure to discuss with all of you about consumer goods and even give insights about KUKA, what is happening from the organization. Yeah, Michael, thank you very much to you as well. It was a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much, Sebastian. It was my pleasure to be with you. And thanks for raising this subject. It's to me very important about the, the worldwide global trend going from automotive domination in robotics, going into consumer goods automation in future. And the prediction is that the market will be three, four times bigger than automotive has been in the past. And mostly looking forward to what KUKA can play a, massive, a, a good role into that business. Thank you very much. You're welcome and thank you, Michael. And thank you, Tongi, as well, uh, for sharing all the interesting examples about KUKA products in operation with us. You're welcome, Sebastian. Uh, it was my pleasure. Uh, always available to discuss about this important topic and important market with consumer goods, especially food, beverage, pharmaceutical and personal care. Thanks a lot. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. I hope we've made you a bit curious on holistic automation for the consumer goods industry from KUKA. If you have further questions, if you need assistance on a project, please feel free to reach out to us. We are always happy to support you. So far, all the best from KUKA. Have a good day. Bye bye.
industrial intelligence.